All right, Raylan, it's time for daddy to go to work. No more. Oh, God, wait. Oh. Dog is freaking strong. <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, house, house, house. <laughs> this is my boy Raylan. We are here with Wilson and we are discovering that I don't like this speaker, which is the Beats Pill. It's not that it's a bad speaker and that I don't really don't like it. It's just that I don't like that I like a Beats speaker. You feel me, Wilson? Yeah. Like, I don't even like saying that out loud. It's very uncomfortable to say. Um, traditionally, anything Beats, headphones, earbuds, speaker, I'm like, ugh, Beats. I'm one of those people, right? Who just, <laughs> I'm just one of those freaking people who just, I, I, I'm not a Beats person, but something told me, man, get that speaker, try it out. And I did, and I'm so mad because I like this thing. It's actually a really good speaker. Now, before we actually compare it to the Sony uh, Field Alt 7 or Alt Field, this ain't even Field Alt 7, it is the Alt Field 1. I had that totally wrong. Too much chicken, man. Me and Wilson went to Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero. Ain't too much chicken, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson got the itis. How you feeling, bro? I'm tired, man. <laughs> Dude, I gotta stop feeding you so much, man. You and this dog, man. I don't know what I'm doing with y'all. He's all fat and lazy. Look how fat his neck is. Did you ever notice how fat his neck is? <laughs> Let me leave him alone before he starts bothering me. Anyways, are we good right here with me down here? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Anyways, so trying out the beat speaker. Like I said, I was very reluctant, but I had to do it because it's new, right? First of all, this thing is freaking gorgeous. Wilson don't like the way it looks. No. <laughs> because it looks like a suppository or just you don't like the shape? <laughs> I just don't like the shape of it, honestly. <laughs> I think it's it's nice. It, it lives up to its name. Let's just say it looks like a pill. <laughs> it does. It looks like a giant pill or suppository. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep it, keep it handy. You know what I'm saying? Just in case. Anyways, um, so the black and the red colorway I'm not a fan of. The black is super boring, which is great because sometimes you don't even want to see a speaker. The red, I'm not a fan of just like all red. This gold though, this gold is clutch. This gold, gold actually fits in my house. I could probably put this thing anywhere. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's move this JBL Flip 6 out the way. Let's put it right there. Hide these wires real quick. See how, how easy that just blends into my environment and it looks good right there or next to the light. Uh, where else should we put it? Let's try to put it on one of these shelves over here. Put it on this shelf. Just set it there and let that bass just echo out of there. Speaking of bass, let me turn this up a little bit. Oh, in the shelf, you can really get it more. Yeah, you get that echo. Yeah. That, that reverb. All right. So I guess that's where we get into sound. Spec-wise, man, this thing lives up to all the expectations you would expect from something that came out in 2024. I think it's got like 24 hours worth of battery life, IP67 rated for water and dust. And that's pretty much like the gist of it when it comes to Bluetooth speakers. It does have a microphone, which a lot of them don't have. So you can take phone calls on this thing. Raylan, what is the deal? You wanna, let me get down here with you again. All right, so it does have a microphone, so you can take a phone call with this thing. Let's put this flip back here. We'll talk about that in the next video. Um, but as far as specs and stuff, pretty much, you know, it's run-of-the-mill kind of stuff. I do appreciate that long-ass battery life, though. But sound is where this thing is very important because it's either going to be really good or absolutely terrible, <laughs> depending on how, how loud you listen to it. Now, uh, Beats does have an app. Let me share my screen with you real quick. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. How do I do that? I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I've kind of forgotten how to share my screen, but you're going to get it right. You can get it right. All right. Right here. I got, all right, there we go. So there's the, uh, the speaker right there. Antoine's beats pill at 33%. All right. So I can add a speaker for stereo pairing or more of a surround sound effect, right? Would she, uh, speaker share? Uh, let's see here. Product features, tone volume. Which honestly, Wilson, you, you're here. You can tell me. So this is 15% tone volume. That's 125%. 
getting anything different? Honestly, I don't think I'm sharp enough to hear that difference. This is not a feature that either I don't know how to work it or is not very effective in this particular one that I have. So whatever. You can see you can answer calls and mute and end calls and stuff like that. Um, but that's it. There's no EQ here, right? So I wanted to take you here so you can see what I mean when it comes to sound. So I'll, I'll give you a video sample. In fact, I actually did a video. Go check that one out, man. It is nothing but sound samples of this. I don't even talk in this video. I don't show my face and don't say nothing. It's just audio clips of this. So go listen to that. But in this video, we're going to talk about how at 50% volume, it actually sounds really good. There's, his, this is Wilson's song right here. This is 50%. It's the song of the people now. It's the song of the people. Okay. Braylon, you dig this song? Braylon ain't even worried about me. He got this, this <laughs> rope. <laughs> I don't want it. Go on, get out of here, man. <laughs> he turns this thing into a weapon. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. This is 50%. Good. You hear that breathy bass? <laughs> Dude, shush, I'm working here. I'm working over here. So. Dude. 50% volume gives you like bass. It actually feels like it punches above its weight class. Like in the charge five status. Cause yeah. it's not, it's comparable to the Sony Oldfield one and the JBL charge six. This thumps in the JBL charge five status at 50% volume. I feel like the mids are lacking a little bit, but you really don't notice because the highs are so good. Uh, but if I turn it up, let me press play again. I'm gonna turn it up to about 80. All right, you give me a thumbs up when it starts sounding good again. Right there. That's 50%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that just proves my theory. 50% volume and below, you are golden. Nice, solid, bassy thump. Oh man, it's so, it's so thick. And then once you go past 50, it just really starts to fall apart. Just horrible. It's, it's pretty bad, actually. All, all songs, I've tried on different songs when I was kind of comparing it to the Field 1 and the uh, Flip 6. Whereas the Flip, Flip 6 and Field 1, we'll talk about the Flip 6 in another video. I got to get paid. I got to do a bunch of videos instead of just clustering it all into one. But compared to the Flip 1, it stays put together. Yes, the bass pulls back a little bit, but it's a consistent sound. It doesn't completely fall apart. So you think we should talk about more stuff as far as comparison or just jump to the audio? Uh... Oh, well, we have to talk about the uh, the price difference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? It's Prime Day, man. We're shooting this on Prime Day. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what the price of the uh, the Field 1 is. Let me see here. Sony Field 1. All right. Well, I guess you got to put in... I, I put in filed. <laughs> field 1. There we go. $98. So it's been $98 for a couple of weeks now because I previously did a video on how this is the best speaker under $100 right now because of that. So this is $98. The Beats Pill is super brand new, so I would not expect it to be on sale. Oh, but the retail price of the Sony is $130. So if you want to go on retail, $130. But right now, today, $98. Then we'll go to the Beats Pill. Beats Pill. Uh, Beats Pill. 150. It just came out, so I would not expect it to be on a sale. Uh, but even at retail, 130, 129 versus 149, dude. That's a lot of money. That's... When you're talking about that price bracket, that's a lot. So I don't know how much price makes a difference to you when it comes to your low end base at low volumes. If that's a big deal for you, all day long. I actually think it outperforms the Sony Oldfield one. 
uh, in the low end base at 50% volume. But personally, once you crank it up past that, it's Sony all day long. Sony just hangs in there. But uh, you got anything to say, man? Anything else we leave out? Uh, honestly, yeah. Just what you said, the Beats Pill is definitely not a loudness speaker. It's a comfortable listening speaker. And I don't think it belongs outside. I, I tried it outside. No. At low volumes, maybe. But since you're outside, you got a lot of ambient noise you're competing with. So I don't think it belongs outside. Also, because of the look. I wouldn't, my wife even said that. She said, that's beautiful. I wouldn't take it outside. I wouldn't want to get it dirty or drop it because, you know, this is this, this probably metal. It's going to dent up or scratch. And then this is going to be, it'll probably make it this coating right here. But it's just a pretty speaker to me. And I wouldn't want to take it outside. Traveling, yes, in a hotel room or something like that, go for it. But the Sony uh, inside, I couldn't, I would not put this Sony speaker in my house anywhere. Not even the black one or the gray one because it just doesn't belong in my house. This is more of a grab and go, do it to it speaker, right? And it's durable as hell. I don't know if you saw that video I made, but I was dropping this thing all over the place, not even caring. Raylan, you, you wanna, wanna bite it? You know, giant schnauzers have a bite force of about 561 pounds per square inch. Now you know. <laughs> he ain't getting a hold of my Sony. Anyways, a <laughs> couple of specky things, then we'll get to the video or audio clip. So IP67 rated, but it's also rust resistant. That makes a difference for a lot of people. And that's kind of a new thing that we're talking about here on this channel. The internals will not rust. They are resistant to rust. Whereas most other companies, I don't know if they actually even pay attention to that. They sure as hell don't talk about it. Uh, and you can see how drop resistant it is by the way it's constructed. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same type of speaker and share a lot of commonalities. So but my personal pick for all around usage is definitely going to be the Sony. If bass was my thing and I wasn't going to turn it up that loud, 50% or less, I'm going with the Beats all day. And I freaking hate it that I would even choose a Beats over anything. And it's, it's really bothering me. So I'm going to go take a nap. Y'all go ahead and enjoy these music samples. And I'm going to go get this off my mind because I can't even believe I just said that. See you when I see you.